Hi, it's Dennis Daly. John Gavin was one of Hollywood's most recognizable actors, handsome, literate, a great voice. Later, he was appointed by his friend Ronald Reagan to be ambassador to Mexico. In his later years, he helped a lot of charitable causes, including a group trying to cut down on teenage drinking. I asked John Gavin whether there's just an inherent problem here, that the more you drink, the less you understand that you are drunk. The message that we're trying to give to young people, which is very hard for them to, to hear, is that they get in a car, they haven't had experience driving. They think, well, that's all right, I've driven. I, I took my lessons in school, and I took the course, and I've been driving for two months. You know, you really don't learn to control a car and unless you go to school the way the race drivers do for a couple of years, for, for many years. That's number one. Number two, they don't have experience in drinking. And if they drink too much, the combination is lethal. So even if they're not drinking, they don't have the experience in the automobile. But if they have been drinking and are inexperienced drivers, it's just compounding it. And it's very difficult to say this to young people. You know, the immediate reaction, you were young, I was young, is, hey, don't tell me, I know, I'm in perfect control and everything is fine. And the most important way to reach them is to say, look, it's not just yourself that you can hurt, you can hurt innocent people. You can kill a friend or maim a friend for life or just some innocent victim that happened to be in your way. John, you had a child who went through that age group, you said went on to, to medicine. What's it like as a parent, I did not have children, t to sit up at night and just wonder if they're going to get back in one piece, particularly if you know that their friends drink? I mean, I think that would just be one of the most gut-wrenching, scary things in the world when 2 o'clock in the morning comes and you hear a siren someplace. Oh, it's got to be. I think all parents go through that if they have any responsible feelings at all. And you want to be sure that you communicate with your children. One of the things that we've found, again, in these studies and these programs is that if you test the parents, we did a test, for example, before a major holiday, and tested the parents, tested the, the, their children also, their teenage children, and we found that the answers were completely different. You asked the parents, will your child drink during this weekend? And they said, absolutely not, the great proportion. You ask the children, and they said, oh, absolutely, yes. And so there is a lack of communication. You really have to be in touch, and you have to, you have to somehow find a way to get your children to listen to you. What's, what's it like when people come up to you and, and, and recognize you? And secondarily, which of the movies do they remember the best? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I was very lucky. I really... Um, uh, did very good films with very good people. Uh, I'm, when I say uh, uh, they weren't the best, I don't mean that they weren't the best. I mean I wasn't the best because I was very young and green. So I want to clarify that. But uh, uh, I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot. It was a very interesting time in my life. It was an unexpected detour. There came a moment when I said, now I think I have to go back and do what I do uh, best, and uh, uh, which was business and diplomacy, and that's what I was really prepared for, but I was very lucky, and I enjoyed a lot of the films I did. Uh, I think the worst I can be accused of is uh, of having been in some things that might have been, in some people's opinions, banal, but uh, at least as I, as I said to somebody, well, I never had to do anything that my mother couldn't see. John Gavin, a nice guy pushing a great cause. I'm Dennis Daly.